Hello everyone, Jojo here from Jorun Jojo. Today we start a new video series on Copilot. In this particular video, we will understand what is Copilot, uh, how it works, and what are the different versions of Copilot. All that we cover it in this particular video. If you are new to this channel, I request you all to please subscribe and support us. All right, let's move on. What is Copilot, and how it works? Well, basically Microsoft is referring to Copilot as a Microsoft solution or a brand for everything that they do. I repeat, for everything that they do that brings generative AI into Microsoft products or experience. Now, this is why there is something like 150 plus different Copilots. Because there are so many different Microsoft products like Windows, PowerPoint, Windows PowerPoint, Wait, Outlook, Excel, Teams, and so on. In a simple language, we shall say that Microsoft apply generative AI in almost all their products. If some products they have missed it out, don't worry, they will bring it very soon. Now here comes the real question. What is generative AI? You might have heard it a lot. But I doubt many people really understand what it means. Well, generative AI refers to the use of artificial intelligence to create new content like text, <coughs> images, music, audio and videos. Generative AI is powered by what are called foundation models or large AI, large artificial intelligence models that can multitask and perform out of the box task including summarizing data q and a classifications and a whole lot more and with some minimal training so foundation models like generative ai can be adapted for targeted use cases with really very little example of data when you hear the term generative ai it is basically we are talking about the ability to create some sort of content the content can be like uh, text, music, video, images, or anything, you name it. So uh, basically, uh, generative AI can create content. So basically, generative AI can create content. So how this generative AI works? Generative AI works by using machine learning models. Basically, Machine learning is used to take a set of data. It takes a set of data and try to understand the patterns, relationship, cause and effect, all sort of analysis on that, uh, on that data. Okay. So generative AI work by using machine learning model, huge models because it works on huge volume of uh, text to learn and understand the pattern and relationship in in that data it analyzes the huge data and then use that knowledge to generate new content now the most common way to train the generative ai model is to use what's called supervised learning in in much more details we look into the coming videos the motive of this video is to give an overall idea about uh, what is copilot and how it what is generative ai and how it works now we will see what are the different versions of copilot we have discussed that Microsoft has applied generative AI in almost all their products, which means uh, that that means there are 150 plus Copilot because they have applied the Copilot or generative AI in almost all their products. So there can be different classification for uh, Copilot. We have uh, considered uh, these three like Copilot Free, Copilot Pro, and Copilot for microsoft 365 firstly microsoft has something called a copilot which is free service it is used to be called bing chat the idea here is you get access to really good chatbot in windows and in edge it's free and it is meant for uh, individuals it actually uses the standard gpt4 model this is the same model that uh, chat gpt uses Another benefit here is you get the web grounding, which means 
when you search some data it actually search the web it actually search in the web when answering to that question so these are the advantages of copilot free when you talk about the limitation there are restriction through uh, on how often or how much you can use gpt4 so i can show you how the G uh, copilot free version looks looks like in the windows and in uh, edge browser so if you have updated your windows 11 in my case i can just show you um, uh, see if your windows is up to date and if it is windows 11 uh, copilot automatically start displaying here a preview version of copilot will be displayed in the taskbar in case if it is not displaying go to personalization and go to taskbar and here uh, it may be off you can turn it on so this is the way how you can how it uh, looks like in the windows i can click on that and a chat board will appear here in the windows itself now if you go to uh, the browser yeah it see it automatically display, displays here you click on that you get the same copilot in the edge browser so this is the look and feel of a uh, free copilot uh, in our windows 11 and in the edge browser now we move to the second version which is copilot pro so in copilot pro you get everything that is in copilot free version plus you get some priority model access so priority model means you get priority when you use copilot when there is a huge uh, data traffic then the first priority will be given to the copilot pro only then uh, after that only the other copilot uses will get the priority and in some cases it may uh, you may have to use gpt 3.5 or even and copilot pro it is uh, a, again it's a paid version and it is costly integrated in uh, standard office tools like Word, excel ppt and etc that means which means it does not just mean that there is a chatbot inside these tools no it's not something like that there is a artificial intelligence that means that AI inside artificial intelligence inside these tools uh, and it can do a lot of things with uh, uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook. For example, you have a Word file which is 100 page uh, length uh, and you do not have time to read from the first page till the last page and you want to know what this, uh, what is the summarize, uh, what is the exact content. So if you want to know that, you can just ask uh, the copilot, uh, Word copilot. So it will summarize into one or two paragraph and you can understand what that 100 page lengthy uh, Word file is trying to talk to you. And uh, when it comes to Outlook, you can use Copilot Pro to write emails for you in Outlook. You can ask uh, Copilot to write, write emails or you can uh, ask uh, what was the last discussion, what is the last mail I received from this person and all those details you can ask to Copilot and it will provide you some data. And the third uh, feature is that uh, make your own using Copilot GPT Builder. And one, one more thing, Copilot Pro, it is for the individuals again. It's not for the business purpose, it's for the home use. And here comes the third one, which is Copilot for Microsoft 365, which is very expensive. And this is for the business purpose. So here you get everything what the Copilot Pro provides us. Along with that, you get Copilot in Teams, grounded with data from Graph, Enterprise Data Security, make your own using Copilot Studio in the Copilot, plus these additional features you get it. When it comes to Copilot Teams, uh, if after conducting a Teams session, you can ask Copilot to give you the agenda of the meeting and what was the discussion is all about. So all that data, uh, Copilot will provide you. And this is our uh, NDR video series, uh, Copilot for Microsoft 365. So hereafter, we will uh, make videos on Copilot for Microsoft 365. These two are ruled out here. This is no more in our discussion. So we are uh, focusing on this area, Copilot for Microsoft 365. I do have the license. So in the coming videos, we will be creating videos one by one. We'll start from Wade, Excel and everything how a Copilot can help us to uh, simplify our day to day task.
so all right that's it for the day i uh, believe that you got an overall idea about what is copilot uh, how it works what is generative ai and uh, uh, different versions of copilot so we'll meet you in another video till then goodbye